Hi everyone, and welcome to this tutorial byte for Oxygen Not Included, where we're looking at strip mining. This will be a quick look at what strip mining is, why to do it, and some tips on how to do it. I use the term strip mining to refer to the concept of digging out large areas of the map, usually supported by ladders for dupe access. Unless you're trying to keep a natural look to your base, I would highly recommend strip mining most of the map. I'll start with the benefits of doing this, and the first benefit to point out is the large amount of resources that this gives you to work with. If you've never dug out large areas of the map before, it may surprise you just how much of each resource there is, often hundreds or even over a thousand tonnes of many common materials. Having this to hand will allow you to build with confidence as you always have the resources available. And that brings me on to the second benefit, which is quick and easy construction. Because the space is already cleared and accessible on all sides, dupes can build any design much quicker. And also because of this space, dupes can move more quickly in straight lines rather than long twisting routes, thus saving travelling time. The other benefit of opening up large spaces is gas management, and if you want to know more about gas mechanics, then check out my tutorial byte on this linked in the card. As carbon dioxide is the heaviest gas, along with chlorine and natural gas, these layers will form far below your base. One of the methods for dealing with carbon dioxide that I discussed in my tutorial byte on oxygen is to simply pump it out of an enclosed base area. Strip mining large areas of the map obviously makes this easier. I do want to point out here that I have one exception to areas for strip mining, and that is cold biomes. As you can see here from one of my bases, I've purposely left these intact. This is due to the wild sleep wheat that grows in them, and rather than strip mining, I instead collect the wild sleep wheat to make frost buns, as I covered in my tutorial bite about food. I will leave this in place well through the mid-game. Note that it's important to leave the abyssalite borders intact to stop these areas getting too hot, which will kill the plants. Having talked through about why strip mining is so good, I'll quickly cover how to do it efficiently. Of course, you can't simply put a giant dig command down because you'll need a way for dupes to reach everything. Ladders are the main way to put in scaffolding that gives dupes access. These are quick to construct and require relatively few resources as well as letting gases, liquids and solids pass through. The one key aspect for this is really the spacing, or pattern, that's used in building the ladders, and this is dictated by the dupe movement and reach. As dupes can reach 4 up and 3 down, then technically the maximum ladder spacing possible is 7 tiles apart, as shown here on the left. My personal preference, however, is to space them 4 tiles apart, as this follows the standard room height. Again, this is because dupes can reach 4 up from inside. Then, when I come to build rooms later, I already know where to put the floors and the map is neatly divided up. You can then put in vertical ladders when necessary to give dupes access. I personally always have a ladder and pole combo that goes down the height of the base. Branching off of this then makes for easy strip mining. And that's all there really is to cover for this quick tutorial bite about strip mining in Oxygen Not Included. It's a really simple and powerful technique to use, so I hope this gives you the idea to mine away with confidence. And thanks for watching.